Hey guys, Scott and Nate from playercourt.com and today we're gonna show you a simple drill to add more racket head speed. So today we're talking about racket head speed and guys, this video is for players of the player court rating of 60 and up. If you're not in our community or familiar with our rating system, a player court 60 is the equivalent of a USTA 3.5. So I know it's a short video today, pretty simple drill. Nate, take it away. What are we doing here to, to get some more racket head speed? It's actually fairly simple. We're just going to use a swing volley to help work through rocket head acceleration. All right. Why? Why swing volley, right? What ends up happening, we see a lot of players out there with a friend or a husband and wife and they're feeding balls and they're talking about how to swing through and get the racket moving a little bit faster. But by actually having the ball coming high in the air and swinging up to it, we allow ourselves to let go. We don't necessarily have the ball bouncing, which is going to change the trajectory, having the ball jam us up. And at the end of the day, it's really contact that allows this good racket head speed and allowing the racket to come all the way through. I know I get a little bit excited when I get that, that floating, swinging volley out of the air. So this makes sense, I think, guys, right? Like this is a drill where if we just started feeding you some floaters and said, take these out of the air, you'd be more aggressive. So 100%, I mean, my favorite here. shot. It's gotta be my, my absolute favorite shot. Um, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do a little drill. And what Scott's gonna really put an emphasis in this drill is swinging up to the ball and really accentuating his windshield wiper forehand all the way across to the shoulder. All right, guys, so we're here with the first progression of this drill, and we're going to do it with a hand fed. All right, so all I'm doing is getting the ball moving up and down, and Scott wants to swing under the ball, really accentuating that windshield wiper forehand. Let's take a look. All right, so guys, once you feel comfortable with that particular drill, we're gonna go ahead and use it from a feed base using the cart, um, or even you can hit and do this as well, but it's gonna be way easier if you're actually feeding the ball. We'll take a look at what that looks like now. All right, so now I'm in a feeding base to where I'm gonna make sure this ball has plenty of height and Scott's gonna swing under and out to the ball. One of the mistakes that people often make is they don't allow the racket to do the work creating the racket acceleration. Scott's now going to swing on top of the ball using his shoulder and we'll show you what that mistake looks like. All right, so really hard to create racket head acceleration, so I'm going to instruct him to let the ball fall. And he gets that big forehand with a massive racket head acceleration and we've got an awesome swing volley. And we also have great racket head speed. So guys, what we want to really illustrate in this video is how the swing volley can help with that rocket head acceleration. This video isn't necessarily about how to hit a swing volley. We just want you out there working on the technique of getting under the ball and swinging out with the windshield wiper. And something as easy as a hand fed method can help you do this. If you have access to a ball machine or a buddy will feed to you, get out there and work on these swing volleys and your rocket head acceleration will be phenomenal. You'll be nailing the ball like Scott here in no time. Yeah, guys, and also don't forget at Player Court, we just want to help you improve your tennis game. We don't know a ton about you or your specific skill level. Do us a favor, click the button or the link below, answer some questions for us about your skill level. We can then send you some more custom video coaching on how to add racket head speed or some of the other things that we want you at your specific skill level to really be working on. So just click the button or the link below and we'll do the rest.